Yes guys, what is up? Welcome to Supercars of London. Happy New Year and welcome to 2023. This is the first video going live on my channel in and amongst a bunch of defenders down at Saxton 4x4 for a very good reason. It is currently 2022 and pre-Christmas. A couple of weeks ago I dropped back the Tesla Model Y and the legends here have let me pick my next car to take on an upcoming road trip to France with my family for New Year's Eve. So I'm going to be meeting up with Shana and Dan, two experts, to help me make that decision. Aha! Uh -huh. hey, Fancy you? seeing you in between these two beautiful <laughs> Range Rover Sports. Aren't they beautiful? Santa's sleighs. Yeah. Um, you've got a plan for me. We have. So last time you were down, we gave you the Model Y, 60 grand. Yeah. We're thinking of switching it up, sticking with the 60 grand budget, okay. going more petrol diesel. 60 grand, petrol diesel, direct comparison to what the Tesla Model Y was like, but I've got a road trip which requires the range. I need to meet up with Dan, who is going to talk me through the specs and some of the stock so that I can find the ultimate car. You Thank bit. you, Shana. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not buying a car. You're here to show me the cars that I could Com buy for 60k. Yeah, yeah. The comment section keeps saying you're going to buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> we're starting to think, are you going to buy a car? But no. <laughs> we know what we're doing and we're looking for a 60k car. There or thereabouts. Oh, okay. GLC 63. So it's basically a C63. C63 40 V8. You do realize I'm on a road trip. Economy. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, a heavier C63, as cool as it is. These are cool. Yeah, might not necessarily be the right car. It's actually incredibly small next to a, a GLE. It is it tiny. It's a big dog and I would not recommend. Well, it's only me, Kelly, and my nephew going in this car, but we still need the boot space. X5? Yeah, X5 is X5. not a bad shout. Better X5. I was just about to say, I looked at that interior, and we've got a quilted interior. Full tech pack, so we've got heads up display, heads up display, bigger screen, you'll have all the hand gestures. Oh, and it's dark blue. Uh, this is a 45B as well, is it? So bit of eco, bit of economy. Bit of efficiency um, there. Bit of a nightmare. I've just got to charge the car and you know full well about electric cars right now. Turn around, go in that direction. I've seen, I've seen Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> Very good choice. I mean, are you thinking more KM because it's bigger, better ride? I've never driven a KM before. And this like is a coupe. The coupes are sexy. I like the coupes. I think they fit really nicely in between that sort of big range of a sport size and then like a mid-size SUV. Yeah, I think they look really good. That one looks really smart with the wheels. But then we've got the Macan, and this is a brand new Macan or a 72 you know plate. Like yeah, I know. we did look at that GTS. Yeah, that's a GTS there, isn't it? We won't look at that. Yeah, it's 10 grand <laughs> over. <laughs> so that one, actually. Yeah. And that's 15 grand over. So maybe Cayenne Coupe probably not the one. But then we go down here and there are some more realistic cars. There's a 60 grand McCann that probably needs bigger wheels. Definitely needs bigger Oh wow, look at that. Good Why is that 135 grand? I think it's a turbo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a turbo. <laughs> I've actually seen this one. That is a monster. But the Cayenne Coupe is cool. There's a gray one there. We've got another Cayenne Coupe somewhere. Yeah. Black one. This doesn't have a price sticker on it because it has sold. A red on red McCann GTS with every Hi. single, you found it. I was gonna say every single box ticked. It is the most mental McCann I have. Oh, Wallace, Supercars of London, please come down. We're walking past these buttes. I found the one. Come on. Are you showing me this? Look at that. Look at Listen. That is, oh, no, the SQ5. Are you Dakota? No. It's electric. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at the price. It's in, bro it's in budget. It's in yeah. Price. That's cool. So, is it a coupe or a normal one? Coupe, exclusive wheels, dark tinted windows full D chrome. What else we got? So not a turbo, economy. Yeah. Which is good. Uh, this champion side. This is cool. Oh, it's locked. Good. <laughs> Standard. Um, heads up display, both are on sound. <laughs> Heat the steering wheel. <laughs> both sound system. Both sound system. We all know. Kai and Coop. If you guys didn't know, Paul's a snob with sound systems. Yep. 
Doesn't have the burma stuff and I'll let it fly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a Kai and Cooper is a pretty... Have you driven one? No. But I've gone from a Tesla Model Y and now I've got the option for this. The say, yeah, and it's a Porsche badge. Should we go for a drive? from a slightly windy northeast France with the Porsche Cayenne Coupe and we've got a beautiful day in the middle of nowhere. I've seen one car on my 20 minute drive. My family are back at the house enjoying a relaxing morning and I've come out to debrief you all on the drive over because it was pitch black. I'll be completely honest, that journey might not have happened if it wasn't for my fast recovery and immune system of a very aggressive virus that wasn't COVID, I was testing negative, but horrendously came down with an illness over Christmas that was rather unenjoyable. And I didn't know whether I would have the energy to drive this two hours in the UK and then three and a half hours from Calais down towards Rams, Erponay, and all of my French vocabulary of basically where we are. Mm. We've got a bit of a disaster. There was a change of plan. I jumped in the car so that I would escape the wind <laughs> and squashy have <laughs> just all spilled down in the door card here. <laughs> what a disaster. All I wanted was two. I'm gonna have to have a whole handful. Anyway, as I chew, bear with me. There we go. The one thing that I was a little bit nervous about jumping into this particular car before such a long drive was I was wondering whether I'd be able to notice that it had done over 40,000 miles in the first three years. Would the car feel tired? Would the steering feel a little bit looser? But in fact, I think combined with the Porsche build quality and also whoever had this car before has maintained it impeccably, it literally feels brand new. It is so comfy, so tight, the suspension is near on perfect. The size and the weight of the car definitely add to the luxurious feel of the ride quality, but then take away a little bit of the MPG because that was the one thing, as you would expect, I'm, I'm looking at the fuel economy, that let the car down a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed by it. So when I drove back from Monaco, to London in the Nissan GTR with Sam from Seen Through Glass in his F-Type. My Nissan GTR averaged around 23 to 24 MPG, which I thought was terrible. This car, 25. <laughs> 25 MPG. In a car that, okay, whilst it is a Grand Tourer, a luxury SUV, and yes, it has the upgraded optional extra 75 litre fuel tank. I've got 157 miles to go. I've got around a quarter of a tank. And when you look at the dial that I filmed late last night when we arrived, I didn't think that we'd gone that far. I was fully expecting a car like this to be capable of over 700 miles to a tank. If this car had low 30s to mid 30s MPG, and maybe it does if you're driving at 50 mile an hour, but on a drive like that late last night, you're not doing that. It's the one thing that stuck out. Other than that, this car was a dream last night. We are well and truly into the 1,000 mile adventure in the Porsche Cayenne Coupe. And it is safe to say that this car has had all weather conditions and road surfaces thrown at it in the last week or so. And it is safe to say from the opening drive that I had down into France, where whilst the efficiency left much to be desired, the rest of the car was pretty much perfect. 
from the sound system to the level of comfort and the way that the air suspension glided over the tarmac, I was in awe and in love with the Porsche brand once again. This car has experienced a lot in the last 1,000 miles. And from behind the wheel, it has only got better and better. And on the journey home, which was done yesterday, it's now the new year, we're in 2023, finally, happy new year everyone. This car achieved nearly 30 MPG, which I was far more impressed by than the journey out. And I didn't really feel like I was driving any differently. So this car potentially on long journeys might have a 30 MPG in it. The way that I can summarize this car, based on my experience of driving uber luxury SUVs and my limited experience behind the wheel of Porsche, this is a half price Bentayga. Now you don't have the level of performance and dynamicness that you get from the Bentayga when you slip it into sport mode. But what you do get is a beautiful looking car, a sleek looking car. The coupe definitely looks better than the standard Cayenne. And then from the side of the road, as I was filming a lot of the flybys and B-roll of this car, I think it's got a real strong road presence and a really enjoyable car to drive. I know that I've emphasized quite a lot on, in this video. But I am shocked and surprised at how good this car is. And for 60,000 pounds, it's, it's a half price Bentayga. Sadly, my time with the Porsche Cayenne Coupe has come to an end. I'm back at Saxton 4x4 and I have an entirely different feeling about letting go of this car as opposed to the Tesla Model Y. Both 60 grand cars. And whilst this by no means is absolutely perfect, it is such an engaging drive for an SUV that looks good, has the road presence, but a level of luxury that I know I've mentioned in this video before, that is, don't really know where you would go for £60,000 to get a better ride quality, a better interior build quality, the practicality, the size, everything has just come together so well. And for my first experience with a Cayenne, it ticks so many boxes and has definitely opened my eyes to the, the daily driver-ness of the Porsche brand. A little bit reluctant to hand the keys back to this car, but again, a massive thank you to Saxon 4x4. We have done so much great stuff last year and we are moving forward into 2023 with some really exciting plans. Not just from a video content perspective, we are building a recording studio for a podcast that is going to be taking place in the Saxton 4x4 showroom. So a lot to come from Supercars of London and Saxton 4x4 and maybe, just maybe, there's going to be a change within the garage with Kelly's Jaguar that feels like it might eventually end up being a Porsche that replaces it. But I will leave it there. Sadly going to have to hand the keys back to this car. A thousand miles in a Cayenne Coupe that is basically a half price Bentley Bentayga. But definitely more than 50% of a Bentayga when it comes to performance and luxury. I'll see you soon guys. Take care. Goodbye.